let's say we are having a scenario to format the data and in that scenario the built-in pipes are not working now to fix that problem we can create a custom pipe in the angular application and working on the custom pipe is also very simple because we are working with the angular cli so basically i want to create a custom pipe in this application and that will display this true as yes and if it is false then it will display no over here let's go back to this particular application and over here we can create one pipe so i can open a new terminal window click on this one we are having this powershell window cool and we can create a new pipe using the cli command just like we have created the components and services in the same manner we can create our pipe so here i'm writing ng g p stands for pipe and then the path of your pipe file so let's assume that i want to store it inside this shared folder so we are having this app shared and then we are having components and let's create one more folder with the name pipes over here so here i'm writing shared pipes and let's use the bool format let's hit the enter button and we are getting the error to specify the module so let's do that again and the module is the shared hit the enter button again we are getting this error because we are having two modules at the same level we are having this material module and this shared module now the command is successful and we are having something with the name pipes folder over here and inside this pipes folder we are having two files this one is the pipe file and this one is the spec file let's not worry too much about this spec file because this is for the unit testing and let's talk about this main file that is the bool format dot pipe okay over here you will see that we are having this pipe and we are having this class so this is the name of my class it is bool format pipe and it is implementing this pipe transformation this is an interface and this is having one transform method and we are providing its body over here in this bool format pipe fantastic now do you remember that we were writing some text after that pipe and this is that text if you want to update it then feel free to update it over here or you can keep it as it is okay so here we are having this method and in this method we are having this is the value this is a required field because you will see there is nothing like question mark over here and these are optional so if you want to pass any kind of parameter in your pipe then you can do that but let's start with the simple one and here i am not passing anything i will get the value so let's say i'm not modifying anything over here and first i just want to use it so let's go to the shared module first and let's see what we have over here at this place you will see that inside this declaration we are having this bool format pipe because i want to use it in some other modules so i have to write it inside the exports array so here i can write it like this cool now i can use it in some other modules and let's go to this pipe format this is the bool format just copy it and go back to our page so this is the card that we are using to display the book details and here it is is published cool so after this one i want to format this one just put a pipe symbol and use this bool format just save all the changes and go back to the browser and let's see what we have here you will see we are not having anything even that true and false is also gone why is this happening this is because inside our pipe we are returning null so it means we are getting the data in this value property but we are returning it as a null so if i just want to display a value on the console dot log method so let's use the value just save the changes go back to the browser and just open the developer tool here we are having this console section you will see we are having three times true and this entire data is coming from this line now let's say i want to format it so how can i do that if the value is true then i want to return yes otherwise i want to return no this is i would say one of the simplest pipe let's go back to the browser and let's see what we have this time this time you will see that if we are passing is book published and we are getting it as yes and from this application if you will add something with false value then you will see it will display a no over here this is how you can work on the custom pipe in angular application